Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to class. Today we'll be looking at the limit of this function, an exponential function. It says that show that this limit does not exist. And I say to know if a limit exists, you have to check for the left hand limit and for the right hand limit. So this one is at the origin, x equal to zero. So you check at the origin for left hand and you check at the origin for right hand. If the both of them are the same, then it means the limit exists. But if the both of them are different, then the limit does not exist. So the question is to show that this limit does not exist. So I'm going to start with my left hand, left hand limit. Let me put left hand limit. So for my left hand limit, it means that I'm considering um, as x approaches this and it means if s approaches this then x is less than zero if x approaches um zero minus it means x is less than zero which automatically means that zero is greater than x okay now also coming to my exponential i need you to understand this one over x is going to give me minus exp uh, infinity Remember, x is less than 0, so if x is less than 0, 0 is a negative number, negative number. So 1 over negative number is minus here. Now, I'm using this for 0, so 1 over 0 is what? Infinity, because of the limit. 1 over 0, if you're not taking the limit, 1 over 0 is not infinity. But when taking the limit, 1 over 0 is infinity. So because it is negative, I'll have negative infinity. And also, I want you to get this to exponential negative infinity is going to give me what? It's going to give me zero. So exponential negative infinity is zero because, okay, it's zero. Just have this. So these two points now, as I have them, I'm going to impute into this function here. I'll have the limit as x approaches 0 minus of exponential 1 over x is this you see that minus 1 all over exponential minus this plus 1 okay so i'm going to have um the limit as x approaches 0 minus this is 0 i have um 0 minus 1 over 0 plus 1. So, 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. I have minus 1 all over 1. The limit now of minus 1 over 1, it will still give me minus 1. So, this is the limit for my left hand. I will have to check the limit for my right hand. So, right hand limit. It means that my x will approach what zero positive so in that case x is greater than zero so one over x is going to give me positive infinity and exponential positive infinity will give me what infinity exponential positive infinity will give me infinity so i'll put it into this function here i'll have the limit as x approaches this so my function here is um exponential one over x but one over x is infinity here so exponential infinity minus one over exponential infinity plus one it will give me the limit as x approaches this of infinity over infinity now this is not defined this is undefined and whenever we have a situation like this where it is undefined I'll have to divide through I'll have to divide by this exponential to the power of half because I have exponential to the power of half so I'll divide each of the term here by this exponential to power half. So I'm going to have the limit 
as x approaches this exponential 1 over x over exponential 1 over x minus 1 over exponential 1 over x all divide by this exponential 1 over x divide by exponential 1 over x plus 1 divide by exponential 1 over x. So this is 1, this is 1. I'm going to have the limit of as x approaches the right hand side of the origin. This is 1 minus exponential minus 1 over x all over 1 plus exponential minus 1 over x. You now see the function has changed. The function has, has changed. So I'm going to solve this now and check for the limit. Solve that and check for the limit. Sorry, let me just um, wipe this part of the board. So, for my limit, for my limit here now, I'm taking the right hand side of the limit, and I shown you already. Now minus one over this. From this, one over x. Remember that it is positive for the right hand side. So one over x is is this, right? And exponential this. So I'm putting them here too. So I'm having. My limit as x moves to the right hand side of the origin, 1 minus exponential. This is what? Minus half. Minus this over 1 plus exponential minus this. And exponential minus infinity, I gave you the other time that exponential minus infinity is equal to zero. So put it here, I'll now have my limit as S approaches the origin from the right hand side, one minus zero over one plus zero, which will give me my limit as S approaches the origin of one over one, which is one. So you see, this right hand side, we got one. And for the left hand side, we got minus 1. And remember, limits exist when the right-hand limit and the left-hand limit are equal, are the same. So since the left-hand, the right-hand and the left-hand limit are not the same, it means this limit does not exist. So that's what the question says. It says show that the limit does not exist. So this is the whole process. The limit does not exist. If you have any question to ask, you can do that in the comment section. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so that you get all our videos. Till then, see you in the next class.